I'm going to attempt to photograph my two-year-old today. We're gonna to see how that goes. I've already had to do quite a few takes, and so far it has not been good. It is a windy day. So before I get started though, I want to make sure that I have a nice clean lens. So I'm gonna use my lens pen. And remember to comment on any of my photography videos to be in the running to win that set from Lens Pen. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it means that this is probably the first video you've watched. So you got a lot of catching up to do because this is video four. All right, so this is clean. All right, so we are in aperture priority mode. That's what I've been wanting you to be shooting in this week. And so with aperture priority, remember we can set our ISO. So it's really cloudy out here. I'm probably gonna do 500, which is already set. And I want my shots to be a little bit warmer, so I'm gonna shoot with the white balance being shade. So remember, you look around, see your lighting, set your ISO. Look around and see what the temperature of your lighting is, set your white balance. And that's an elephant under my arm, in case some of y'all are thinking I needed to shave. It's an elephant. Um, and now you're gonna set your aperture. So on my camera, I actually, I actually can go in here and I can use my little scrolly wheel and I can set my aperture. All right, so some of you are going to have a button on the back that says AV and you're gonna to have to push that and then scroll to set your aperture. You can adjust some of those settings. For some cameras, you can adjust the settings of what controls what, like, like this dial controls aperture, you can kind of control it in your, um, change it on your camera. Sorry, my child's getting into my camera bag. Um, so I'm going to shoot with mine as wide open as possible. So I'm gonna go with that lowest aperture number. Yes, yes, that's very cool, thank you. Wow, from my camera bag. Um, and my umbrella. All right, so I'm gonna set mine to the widest aperture opening. So my camera 2.8 is as wide open as it'll go, but I'm going to use that because I'm only shooting the one child, the wild child. And then my camera will choose the rest of my settings. So, dropped an elephant, a giant elephant in the room. It's the fact that I'm gonna have a really hard time photographing my child without any help. Because who goes to a photo shoot with their two-year-old without any help? Me. All right, Jack, you ready? Let's try this. So my mic battery went out and I didn't realize it. So I apologize for that. I'm gonna have to do a little voiceover. My first tip that I have to give to you is do not photograph your child alone. Bring someone else with you to help wrangle the wild little munchkins because it is a lot of work trying to get them set up, get them happy, and by the time you get to the spot where you need to be in order to get a nice picture, they've already moved. Tip two, bring a stuffed animal or toy that they love that will help get their attention. I always set it on top of my lens. Now, you also can try all of these things and sometimes it just makes them want to come get the toy. But see, if I'd had someone else there with me, I would have been set because that person could have been wrangling my wild monkey man for me. But anyway, he was a booger, booger, just, <laughs> look at him, he's so stinking cute. And look at that pandemic hair. This baby needs a haircut. And now he's just running circles around me. Yep. So I'm kind of glad that this is not going that easily because you know, so many times you see people that say, here's how to photograph children, and then their children behave beautifully. So now, here is reality, folks, in all its glory. 
I'm attempting to photograph my two-year-old today because, you know, I thought life was too easy right now. Figured I'd make it challenging. Look how cute. Hey, cutie patootie with the teeny tiny booty. Let's get some lighting right. Where'd you go? Ah, 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 get out of there. All right, go back and get on your blanket. We're gonna make this a game if we have to. Life is a game, right? Okay, here we go. Not exactly ideal photographing, uh, lighting and all that. The whole situation is difficult, but you know what? That sounds about right. In life, doesn't it? Hey, Jack. For whatever reason, my, um, my two-year-old thinks that it's more fun to be underneath my tripod, which, you know, doesn't make for great pictures. Don't try to take pictures by yourself. Lesson learned. The magic, the magic nanny. This kid will do anything for a nanny. I totally forgot I had it. Oh, are you ready for your nanny? Yeah. All right, we're gonna try for this again. Focus on his books, because that's where he's going to be sitting. All right, come on. Come sit right here and have your nanny. Sit right here. Sit down. Sit down so you can eat your nanny. Oh, you're sitting on your books. Here. There's your nanny. Now this will be the most Jack picture that ever existed. A boy with his nanny and his book. Hey Jack, is it good? Things aren't always gonna go as expected and that's okay. Just don't yell at your kids, just let your kids be kids and let them have fun and I promise you'll be happy with the pictures even if they aren't, you know, the beautiful portrait you envisioned that's gonna go over your mantle. Sometimes, sometimes it's just better to be a good mom than it is to have the porcelain child up above your fireplace. And if you really want that picture, call me. I can get it. With your kid, not my kid. I can get it with your kid. I can't get it with mine. All right guys, so I tried to do the pictures last time by myself with Jack and that was not successful at all because, well he's two and it's you know, almost impossible to keep up with a two year old by yourself. So we're gonna try this again. My dear friends are allowing me to come to their house and shoot in their front yard because they have daffodils and they don't mind if he actually uh, picks any, which is kind of great. So I'm just gonna get this lens cleaned up, ready to go, and I'm gonna start attempting to photograph my child the second time. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so one tip when you're photographing kids, um, <laughs> be patient with them, one. And two, don't be afraid to act a little silly and crazy to get your picture. I discovered last time, of course, after I had already put all of my equipment away, that Jack thinks it's real funny if I turn around and shake my booty. So we're gonna see if that's gonna work. I'm not going to do that on camera because I wouldn't do that to all of you, but I'm going to try it for him and see if I can get some smiles. Look out! Here we go! Yay! Yay! Look out! Okay, <laughs> in there. What do you find? All right, so the unruly two-year-old has gone into the giant tree underneath. 
I'm going to see if I can use this to take advantage of this and get him to play a little game with me so I can get some good shots. I'm getting desperate here, folks. Where's Jack? Where's Jack? Where's Jack? Oh, there he is! Hey, Jack! Where's Jack? Where's Jack? Oh, there he is! Jack! A peekaboo! A peekaboo! Normally I can get some good smiles from snoring, but I couldn't get them. Okay, so I am all about, here are my main ones that I use. I sneeze my glasses off of my head. I snort like a pig. Um, I'll sneeze other objects off of my head, or I'll use something to play some, a game, like he's now in the bushes or tree or whatever this thing is. And so we're gonna play peekaboo. Where's Jack? Where is he? There he is, a peekaboo! Where's Jack? Oh, also toot noises work great. Love a good toot noise. And if you get the older kids, you can always, you know, sing funny songs like the diarrhea song. It's a big one for kids. <laughs> My husband just rolled his eyes. It's true! If I can get kids eight and up, they love a good diarrhea song. Now you obviously have to know your client. Um, not everybody thinks that that's appropriate, but I mean, I have two older brothers. The diarrhea is always a staple in our house. There he is. There's my handsome boy. Oh, he's waving to me. Another thing, if you can get some foliage in front of your shot, it will just be out of focus and kind of hazy, and it looks great because it kind of frames up your subject. So really shooting through the branches is helping me here because it's putting emphasis just around his face. It's kind of framing him. Whew, that was exhausting. I mean, I'm, I'm out of breath from photographing my child. It is hard photographing your child. So don't think that you're alone it is, I don't know what it is, but when it's your kid, well, one, they don't listen to you. You're not something new and exciting to look at, which is why it helps when I'm photographing other families. These kids don't know me. Well, some of them know me who've grown up with me photographing them, but they don't see me every day. All that to say is don't beat yourself up if you have trouble photographing your own kid. Just have fun with it, just capture them. It's. It really does not have to be perfect. And if you need it to be perfect, call a professional because we can help. We can help make this better for you. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned some things. And don't forget, if you leave a comment, you'll be in the running for next week's giveaway of the lens pen bundle and the Good Golly Photography Quick Tips and Tricks. But thank you for joining me also don't forget, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload a video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful crafternoon. afternoon.